Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Pi Juice Zero. So let's get started. Now, Pi Supply was nice enough to send me one of these demo units for testing and to show you guys what this is all about. Now, they're still in the crowdfunding process, so I'll leave a link in the description below so you know where to get yours. Now, if you've seen my previous video on the regular Pi juice for the Raspberry Pis, you know that this is a very good product. They just shrunk it down to a smaller size for the Raspberry Pi Zero. Now, I am a huge fan of this guy now because I use Raspberry Pi Zero for a lot of my little tiny projects, whether it being a time-lapse machine or humidity and temp sensor. I just use my Raspberry Pi Zero instead of carrying around the Raspberry Pi 3. I don't need all that horsepower. But I still use this guy a lot, the, the regular Pi juice, because when I don't want to look for a power cord to start up my Raspberry Pi 3 or 4, I could just use one of these battery packs. One of the questions I had in mind when I got this was, does it fit on a Raspberry Pi 3? And the short answer is no, it doesn't fit directly. That's because the Raspberry Pi 3 actually has these power pins that protrude out and you can't actually fit the Pi Juice Zero on top of that. It just, it, the connections don't go very well together like that. Otherwise, if you do need it for the regular Pi 3s, you would just get the regular version with the bigger battery anyway. Now let's talk about this little board for a second and I'll tell you what the pros and the cons are or what I found out about it. To start off, by looking at it directly, the button is on the left side. So I'm gonna go by that. On the left side, you have an LED indicator light. And that LED, the top one, you can actually program it to indicate whatever you want. Then you have the power button. Now, as far as the power button goes, you could turn on the device and turn off the device. And if you hold it for 10 seconds, it'll actually send a hold command. And if you set, hold it down for 20 seconds, it'll completely power down the board. And then the bottom light is the indicator light. If this board is on charging, whatnot, that's the indicator for it. On the bottom side of the board, you have a micro USB for the charging and power of the Pi Zero. And then on the right side, you have a three pin connector and that's where you would plug in a battery. And they also come with a little tiny harness so you can actually plug in your own battery if you need to. Now, as far as the top, you have the 40 pin GPIO connector. Now here's the con about this. This, while it fits perfectly on the Raspberry Pi and it makes it look super flush, there's no way to use the GPIO pins anymore. And that's the downside because it just covers it up. I I mean, there's a way to solder if you need to solder something onto the bottom part of the PC, um, the Raspberry Pi. But ultimately, this basically eliminates the whole 40 pin GPIO thing by connecting this guy on. So it really depends on the project that you need. And maybe they could switch out the connectors for, uh, for like a, a stack. I don't know what you call those, but so yeah. What's included in the package is um, this hardware pack, which is like some nylon hex screws and screws. The harness that I was talking about is a three pin harness where you could actually solder your own battery to the ends of this. Couple of uh, stickers. Like I said, this is a smaller version of the Pi Juice. So it still has all the features like a real time clock and everything. So if you use their software, you could actually schedule this guy when to turn on, when to turn off, etc., etc. So if you only need it for a set amount of time, say like 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., you could set it so it turns on at that time and turns off at that time, which is a pretty cool feature if you're using the software. And also using the software, you could program the indicator light to display what you want to display. Now, as far as the batteries they have, they do send multiple sizes. Uh, the one I got is a 1200 milliamp battery and they go all the way up to 12,000 milliamp battery. Look how big this guy is. They all run right off this. And to be honest, the 1200 milliamp battery is more than enough if you're gonna run a project for about like six to seven hours. That's how much the lifespan of a 1200 milliamp battery should be. Now, if this is not enough power, you could also combine this with their Pi Juice solar cell. So this thing is pretty cool. It opens up like this. This is a 22 watt version. You got these little holes that you can hook up to like a wall or a backpack or something like that. But inside here comes with two USB ports. So you can actually plug to charge this guy up and also charge up your cell phone at the same time or something. So this is actually a really cool uh, solar power feature. Now, as far as my conclusions, uh, I love the fact that this is going on a Raspberry Pi Zero and, and I could run my projects in a small form factor and using a battery and combined with the solar, I could basically leave the Raspberry Pi Zero outdoors indefinitely. The con, again, it hides the GPIO pin so you really can't use the GPIOs unless you get one of those little connectors that I was talking about, like something like this on this guy, on the Pi Juice, this type of connector type. 
or uh, solder it directly to the bottom, then you'll be able to use the GPIO pins. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got any questions, hit up in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my Nerd Cave, hack till it hurts.